Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another video, baby. We're talking about what is your favorite Slipknot album. And yes, I have probably every Slipknot album to date right here. And I did a post on Facebook, and the number one album that people picked was, and they picked the Iowa album because they said it was so heavy, so aggressive, that it was not like any other Slipknot album to date. The other album that um, these people were saying, which I don't have the actual album because I never actually purchased it and I had a friend uh, burn it for me. And that was the self-titled Slipknot album with like Wait and Bleed. They said that was a great album because that's one of the albums that got Slipknot kind of notified in the metal genre because this is the album they, they performed at OzFest 1999-2000. And the other albums were all hope is gone album they, they were saying this is another album that was really great but like i said most people were saying that the iowa album was the best slipknot album to date because it was just the most aggressive album and slipknot ever since volume three they changed their style and they were never the same again after making this album and I kind of agree with that because if you go from their very first album, which was their self-titled album, to Iowa, to Volume 3, Volume 3 had some um, singing parts and some like acoustic-y stuff, and they kind of toned their, their uh, style down. I don't know if they weren't being aggressive as much, and a lot of people still say they are aggressive, but the Grey chapter, which is their recently uh, released album with songs like The Devil and I, you can definitely tell there's a huge difference between The Devil and I and something like Left Behind or People Equal Ship, you know. Those are the songs like People Equal Ship, Left Behind, Disaster Piece. Those are songs that are extremely aggressive and heavy as hell. But when you hear songs like The Devil and I, it has a lot of singing. It's not that brutal. It's not that heavy. And one of the songs that I really love off of um, Volume 3, which was Duality, that was a really good actual heavy song. The Iowa album, the Iowa album today is still their most brutal, heaviest album to date. So with that being said, guys, let me know what is your favorite Slipknot album, why or why not, because... I still think Slipknot is one of the baddest groups out there. They were like one of the bands that I really got into in the early um, 2000s when I was in high school. And here's just some of the albums that I enjoyed listening to. Just got to get a thumbnail, baby. So, as always, remember to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And have you ever seen a Slipknot live? And that's another question. What's your favorite Slipknot album? And what is your experience of seeing them live? I seen them at OzFest 2004. And I seen them in 2005 when they, play, when they headline the tour with Shadows Fall and Lamb of God. And at that time... Corey Taylor blew his voice out because they were playing the, uh, I think it was Volume 3 or Sub Subliminal Versus album. And they were literally touring for like a year and a half. And the doctor said, you're going to blow your voice out. And ever since that day that the doctor told him he's going to blow his voice out, he does not really do too much screaming stuff anymore. He does more singing, clean vocal stuff. But it's still pretty good. Like I said... Um, that is my video, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.